What was your first reaction, Ben, when Zach called you and said, I want to be Batman? Well, I didn't really know what he was going to do, you know, and I wasn't sure how it was going to work, and I was kind of taken aback and surprised. I went down to his office and looked at what he had created. You know, he had already painted and drawn and created videos and, you know, um, for what would become Batman versus Superman, and I could already see the influence of the, the Frank Miller book on the movie, and I could always see, already see the sort of... This, this, this sort of this, this great idea of this kind of heavyweight fighter in the twelfth round, you know, of his of his life, um, then that that was really appealing to me. And all of a sudden, and I saw the the way he was doing the Batcave and the, what the Batmobile was going to look like, and how the, uh, the you know, and, and he was gonna, Chris Terrio was going to write it. And I just I just thought like I have to do this, you know, I can't. I said I say no to this, I'll regret it forever. I'm glad you said yes. How how different is this new version of Batman to other previous incarnations? You know, the previous incarnations of Batman are done by such great actors that's like, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was a hard and daunting thing going in because there's such fine work had been done. Such, I'm such a fan that um, I had to just sort of put that out of my head. Otherwise, I would have been forever going like, oh, is this as good as so-and-so did it? Um, you know, and we tried to do something that was not just another chapter in someone else's thing, but to, to try to reinvent it and do our own thing. What's different about this chiefly is that just from a story point of view is that Batman exists now with other superheroes, which hadn't really happened before. Um, you know, you've got Superman there and you've got Wonder Woman and you've got the possibility of these other characters emerging. And so putting him in a world where those characters exist very much changes the, uh, you know, changes the calculus for Batman in a lot of different ways. And how did you, uh, both physically and emotionally, as an actor, prepare this role? Well, physically, it was just you know a couple hours a day in the gym and eating a lot of protein and um, eating you know four, four or five times a day and uh, you know doing as much work as I possibly could to to get fit and to add muscle. Um, you know, emotionally, it was a lot. It was you can't go do research with Batman. He's not around there. You know, you have to use your imagination. And luckily, I had Chris Terrio to lean on, who wrote a remarkable script that was very. Um, real and also very exciting and also had a lot to chew on and I had Zach who who had a great you know kind of through line for the character um, and and working with those guys is just kind of how I developed this this take on this character does the suit help once you put it on yeah the suit helps enormously I mean the, all, all the all the all the things that mo the movie is able to do to sell Batman are helpful right like there's there's sound and there's effects and there's this costume and there's design and all the things that it's ultimately the director is doing to create a Batman um, help you as an actor and sometimes you just have to get out of the way and, and let that happen you know and really what you're playing is you're playing Bruce Wayne so the audience that's the human being that the audience gets to know and that's who they imagine is in that suit when they're watching that sequences so that's that's really the the trick of it I think Speaking of the title and the story and the antagonism that there's between Batman and Superman, what's their different approach towards justice and at the end of the day dealing with bad guys? Well, I think you do have two different approaches from these characters toward, toward justice, toward conflict. Um, Batman is a little bit more ruthless. He's willing to be a vigilante. He's willing to violate some principles in order to what he, you know, get things done and believes that that's a, a more expeditious form of justice is okay, you know, expedited justice. But I think, um, and, and Superman believes in, you know, maintaining and upholding the integrity of, you know, the ideals of what's behind the laws and why they were created. And I think there's a little part of that in each of those characters in all of us when we wrestle with issues um, in, in life, in, in society. You know, we wonder sometimes how far to take things. So when is it appropriate? You know, Superman is, Batman wants to strike first. He wants to attack Superman because he believes he's a threat. And if he's a threat, he thinks that threat should be eliminated. And, um, you know, we wonder when is it appropriate to strike first? When is it smart to be, to wait? Uh, to what extent do we weigh our values against the threats that are present in our lives? That's a very real conflict that we all deal with in the world today, and uh, there's no easy answers to it. I'm, I'm gonna extend this, we can cut the next one, because this is for Warner Brothers. I wanted to ask you about Henry, and what you think he brought to the role, and how was he like to work with? Henry's, Henry's a great guy, and he's very, um, he works very hard, and you know, he was, he's in phenomenal shape, and he, he, he does something very difficult that's hard to appreciate, which is he makes us empathize with the humanity of his character, who's not in fact a human being, of course, can't, you know, virtually invulnerable, almost godlike, and yet, um, you know, both in the first movie and in this movie, I think he has this quality of 
raw decency and humanity that makes you feel for him. Um, and it's, uh, it's, 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 not, it's not easy to do. And just to wrap it up, I do want to ask you about working with an actor of the caliber of Jeremy Irons and what do you think he brought to Alfred? You know, Batman's humanity really comes through in his relationship with Alfred. That's where you see his, he's got this father figure. That's where you see this, this father-son love, you know, even though it's a lot of times teasing and giving each other a hard time, but that's how he's bound to humanity, even in his darkest, most jaded um, hours. And so, you know, it was wonderful to have an actor as sophisticated and brilliant as Jeremy to, to play all that stuff off, you know, the, the teasing, the coyness, the uh, camaraderie, the affection. You know, he's, this is nothing he can't do. I've been an admirer of his since, since Dead Ringers. I mean, the guy is an amazing actor. He's just, he's just phenomenal.